be blessed yes, sir. Yes. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Yes. And forget all, right. all of his benefits. Yes. Right. Eighty-two years. Yes, Lord. The church has been here for black families. Eighty-two years. Don't let that offend black families. It's just a blessing. I kind of feel like I was reading last night. God made it possible for the Jews to come into the city of God. Hear the word of God. The Jews didn't like what they was hearing, hearing rather, and they got up and walked out. And they left some Gentiles sitting there. Come on now. So the Gentiles said to God, Let us hear the words of God on the next Sabbath. Isn't that wonderful? When God spoke, don't want it. God's word comes true. Amen. My word will not come back to me bold. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we saw it happen in those passages. It's good right. to be here. Right. It's good to be here. The singing has been great. I Amen. almost got up singing myself. It's long. It's certainly been good. And I want to I want to thank uh, Brother Patton for allowing and asking me to be with you. Yes, I want to thank the whole church that works with him. Amen. Those guiding men to help this church to come this far. Yes. You must be thanked. Amen. Then I want to help, I want to thank those of you who have come to encourage us. Amen. I want to say to all the preachers, mm -hmm. hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> and I want to do what I got to do and sit down low. <laughs> I want you to look with me for a few minutes from the eighth chapter of St. Matthew. And you can just stay there. I'm not going to get too far from Matthew 8. There are some things. And if it was possible that I could help to change the disposition of people, make folk learn to love and to appreciate each other more. Mm -hmm. We've had enough mess. All right. All right. Yes, we need some show not love. So, all right. yes, yes, yes. And as I was reading this passage, I said, I think this is what I'm going to use as a booster. A hope. Mm -hmm. Even though it looks bad, there's still hope. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. God is not going to die. Right. Right. So I know there's hope. Right, right, yes. brother. Hmm. All we have to do is trust in him. Amen. Amen. When he was come down from the mount, great multitudes followed him. Behold, there came a leper. The Bible says, and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou can make me clean. Mm -hmm. Jesus put forth his hand uh -huh. and touched him, saying, I will mm -hmm. be thou and immediately, yes. his leprosy was clean. Yes. Let me just go through this chapter a few minutes. For a subject, I'm just going to ask you if you will walk in Jesus' sandals mm. a day. Mm. Just a day. Come on, brother. Void of selfishness. Mm -hmm. Just walk through his sandals. Mm -hmm. Now let me fix it up. I looked up sandals in ancient times. They didn't have rubber soles or leather 
your soul. Come on, brother. The sandals that Jesus and his disciples had to wear back in ancient times were made of wood. Come on, man. Stay with me. All right. Wood, and they had a hole in the middle where they would tie it off underneath and had leather straps that went around his ankle to keep his sandals on. Would you walk in his sandals? Come on, brother. Just for a day. Come on. Mm -hmm. Well, you say, I could. No, you got to wait now. Because what you don't know mm -hmm. is that Jesus climbed mountains. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Went over hills and valleys. Come on, brother. Crossed over rocks and clods mm -hmm. of dirt. Mm -hmm. Because he had us in his heart. Yeah. And he was willing to suffer uh -huh. the agony of his feet. I can understand why the lady, when he sat down, came and washed his feet. Come on, brother. The most tired part of a person in ancient days was his feet. Yeah. Having to cross over all of the bare territories that they had to walk on. Can you imagine him going through weedy country, stickles and thorns? Come on, brother. Yet he had somewhere to go to help us. Would you walk in his sandals? Come on now. Just for a week. Just for a day. All right. Come on. All day. Come on. I see him now coming out of the mountain. He's met by a leper. Yeah. Now you know what that means. Right. If you had leprosy, you wasn't really, or wasn't really supposed to be out in the public. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But here this man is wanting to get rid of his problem. Yeah. Yeah. And he realizes that Jesus is coming this way. Mm. All right. Risking his life because he could have been stoned. Yeah. To death out there. Right, brother. But he walks on out in public. And as he gets there, he walks up and says, Jesus, if thou will, I know you can heal me. And the Bible says that Jesus didn't waste time. He touched him. Y'all don't hear me. Oh, yeah. It wasn't right to touch a man with leprosy. Mm. But Jesus wasn't thinking about what's right and what's wrong. If it's right to help somebody, that's what Jesus was going to do. So he touched him. Folk would look at him and act kind of crazy. But when he finished and this man goes off, Jesus said, what I want you to do. Go present yourself to the priest. Yeah. yeah. Oh, go to church. Oh, yeah. Get it straightened out. Come on. It's hard for some of us to go to church. Uh, mm -hmm. Come to church. Or come to the house of God and, and worship God in spirit and in truth. Yeah. We are sleepy right now and you are wasting my nap time. Well, yeah. But I'm hollering so I can wake you up. <laughs> then I want you to look at that next parable. I was saying when Jesus would come into Capernaum, uh -huh. there came unto him a centurion, begging him, yeah. saying, Lord, my servant, how you underline that in your mind, my, my servant, mm. says, is laying at home on that mercy, mm. sick of uh, palsy, yeah. grievously tormented. Jesus said unto him, I'll come and I'll heal him. Mm. Would you be this honest and walk in these sandals for a few minutes? Mm. Here Jesus is in his sandals. And this man wanting Jesus to heal his servants. Yeah. 
Jesus didn't ask how far you live from here. Mm -hmm. He didn't ask him, what town do you live in? Mm -hmm. Jesus just said, I come and heal me. <laughs> but the man said, Lord, no, 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 no. Look at this. I, I'm not worthy for you to come under my house. Mm -hmm. I'm a man of authority too. I can say do this and my servants will do this. I can say do that and my servants will do that. But Jesus was just warning to him. Mm -hmm. Jesus looked at me and said, I am seen mm -hmm. this kind of faith. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, when you walk in Jesus' sound, right. Jesus can find this kind of faith yeah. in us. Right. Because we're not doing all of this for self. Right. Right, brother. You can't be selfish right. and think you're going to get to help. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Come on, brother. Church members are selfish. Come on, brother. We don't like to give. Come you on, brother. Get none of that, right. Right. We, get, we pinch off a little bit and give it to God. We think we're doing all right. Come on, brother. I stopped by today to tell you that I mean, you better wear Jesus' sign. Tell us. Tell us. You don't care what another man has. And what he drives if he needs help. Everybody have heart problems sometimes. Everybody have sickness sometimes in their lives. And so we all need help sooner or later. Jesus said, I've seen so much faith on the But I'll tell you something. That wasn't a beautiful part of that. The Bible says that the same hour. My mind. When Jesus said and heard this servant, at that same hour, this servant, he got up. Well, we need to learn that when we walk in Jesus' sound, Come on, brother. It don't make any difference what color your skin is. All right. That's right, brother. Don't make any difference whether or not you speak English or no. Come on, brother. You may not understand the word that they're saying, but every one of us know what hurt is when somebody is crying. You don't have to cry in Spanish. The tears let us know that this person needs some help. But step on down to verse 10. Yes, sir. When Jesus heard it in Marvin and said, to them that followed him. Verily I say unto you, I haven't found so great a faith, mm -hmm. not all in Israel. Mm -hmm. Then we look at him again. When Jesus was come into Peter's house, there his mother in the house mm -hmm. lay there sick. Mm -hmm. Our church, it looks like Jesus is always trying to help us. Mm -hmm. And it started long before that. We understand that Jesus realized that, that a lot of us talk a good talk. But we don't walk a good walk. But try on his son. Come on, brother. And see if you can't walk this next line with the verse number 18. Come on now. Why? I got to hurry up now. So now when Jesus saw a great multitude. Now when Jesus him, saw great, great multitudes multitude, about him. Around him. He gave commandment to depart unto the other side. He gave commandment to leave and go to the other side. And a certain scribe came. There's a scribe there. And said unto him, Master. And the scribe said, Master. I will follow thee whithersoever thou go. I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said unto him. Watch this now. It's, it's going to come out on us. The foxes have Jesus holes. Jesus said, the foxes have holes. And the birds of the air have nests. Birds of the air have nests. But the Son of Man have But all oh, the to man that head. you are talking to right now. Yes, sir. I don't have anywhere Please to lay my head. And and what I'm side. trying to tell us right now. What I'm trying to tell us. Jesus was homeless. Yes. yes no home to live in. Yeah. No bird's nest to lay down in. No foxhole to hide himself from the weather. Come on, he is homeless. Uh -huh. And he wanted to tell us up front. Uh -huh. Foxes have holes. All right. Birds have nests. Right. But I can't even tell you where I live because I don't have a home. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
because my my jurisdiction is where I'm needed. That's it, brother. My jurisdiction is when somebody is hurting bad and they need help. Yes, sir. But then he sent the disciples on. We're dropping down to verse 23. When he sent the disciples uh -huh. on the head of him, uh -huh. he found out that among us, you're going to read some now. And when he was entered into a ship, his when disciples he entered followed into him. a ship, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea. And behold, there arose a great tempest. Heart is well, telling brother, me. Oh, yeah. A great tempest in the sea. And so much that the ship was covered with the waves. And so much that the ship was covered with waves. But he was asleep. But Jesus, not worrying about it because he knew who his father was. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He knew where. His father yeah, was. Yeah. Right. And he knew that his father never slumbered yeah. or slept. Yeah. Right, right. Jesus is down in the ship. Yes, sir. Putting a little Z's out. <laughs> and listen to what the Bible says. And his disciples came to his him. His disciples came to him. And awoke him, saying, Lord. Woke him up, saying, Lord. Save us. We perish. Save us. We perish. And he yeah. said unto them. He said unto them. Why well, are ye fearful? Are you fearful? Oh ye, oh ye, a little faith. Then he arose. I stopped by to tell you today, a little doubt won't do you. Right. You got to add to your faith daily by right. studying the word right. of God. Right. Where do you get faith from, Brother Shaw? Romans 10 and Come 17. On, so then faith comes Come by hearing and hearing yes, by the word of God. Yes. So we need to add Come to on, our faith. More faith. Yes, sir. More faith. Yes, sir. More faith. Do it every day yes, of the week. Sir. Seven days of the week. Add faith to your faith. And you got some faith you can use. Yes, sir. Yes. Walk in Jesus. So oh, sure. Come on, oh, now. I stopped right. to tell you that these disciples on this boat, I'm not done. Yes, sir. Was really, very, very scared. Uh -huh. I'm scared. <laughs> However you want to say it. I know they were sure enough scared. <laughs> they didn't want to be on that boat by themselves. Yeah. But the Bible says. Then he arose. Then he arose. And rebuked the winds and the rebuked sea. And the winds of the sea. And there was a great calm. And there was a great calm. But the men mocked. But the men mocked. Saying what man of They ought to know who he is. <laughs> they ought to know what he can do. Yeah. Because they've been with him for a long time. Yeah. 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 Isn't it easy for us to forget what Come God Oh, has done for us. Isn't it easy for us to say, I can't remember what he did because they're sleeping on the job. We got to wake up and stay awake. I maintain that Jesus rebuked the wind yes, and that was a great calm. Uh -huh. And the Bible says, and the man marveled saying, the man marveled what saying, manner of man is this? what manner of man is this? That even the wind, that even the wind and, and the sea and obey, him. Right. obey him. And when he was gone, I stopped to tell you that it ought to be the same way today. Come on. Right. Whenever Jesus speaks, uh -huh. we ought to be willing to obey him. Yes, Amen. Walk in his sandals for a while. Come on. Yeah. And maybe you'll understand what it really means mm -hmm. that you're going to have to trust your Father, yes, which is in heaven. Right. Right. Jesus didn't worry about getting what God wanted him to have right. because he knew his Father was, had his back. Yes, is that a good enough word? Yes, sir. He had his back. Yes, sir. I maintain that if you don't have Jesus in your back, you better get him in your heart. Yeah. And if he's in your heart, he's going to be everywhere you go. Yeah. Yeah. If you got him in your heart, somebody is here today that's not living like they ought to live with God. Yeah. Somebody is living here today that hadn't rendered their life to Jesus Christ right. possibly. Right. Somebody is here today mm -hmm. that's already got their mind made up what they're going to do tonight mm -hmm. and tomorrow. Right. Right. Yeah. Somebody is here maybe today who already re realized that I'm not going to live like I'm supposed to live because I can just repent and ask God to forgive you. You better stop fooling yourself. No, brother. No. Stop fooling yourself. Yes, sir. People are dying not even thinking that they're going to die. Isn't it strange today how young folk are just dying like flies swarming around sour meat? Young folk are leaving their life. Someone said to me the other day, Brother Shaw, I tell you something. It used to be that young folk were burying their parents, and now the parents are burying their children. I stopped to tell us somebody in the church ought to start talking about Jesus more in the community. Somebody in the church ought to start talking more about Jesus on the job. Somebody in the church 
ought to talk more about Jesus at the restaurant. On, Somebody in the church ought to talk more about Jesus even when you go to a ball game. Yes, Somebody in the church yes, ought to be talking about Jesus when they're just rolling around in the grocery market. Yes, we right. need to talk Jesus, Jesus, yes, Jesus, yes, Jesus. Yes, yes, Every day, Jesus right. is going out of mind. Yes, if you're here and you're not a child of God, yes, let me tell you, it's so simple. All you have to do, I know you have heard because I've talked loud. I just want to know if you believe what you have heard. And are you willing to repent of the sin that you have discovered that you've been in? And are you willing to confess that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? Go down in the watery grave of baptism. Come up a brand new creature in Christ Jesus. Yes, Come up walking in Jesus' sandals. Right. When you walk up on your old friend, yeah. you can tell them, I don't do that anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a changed individual. Yes, when you come up on those that you used to run around in, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Use that blood. Oh. Run around and drink yeah. that drink. Yeah. Run around and Stop shake those out. Come on, yeah. Yeah. You can say, I don't do that anymore. Yeah. I don't have any time for that. Yes, I'm a servant of God. And I'm going to serve him until I die. Yeah. That's why Jesus said, blessed are the dead Free. that die in the Lord. Yeah. They should rest from their yeah. labor. Yeah. And the works yes, do follow. Yeah. Somebody ain't going to have some works behind Come on. Yeah. I know I ain't his bad grammar, but I don't care what you say. All right. All right. Yeah, you All right. if you want to. I say it again. Somebody ain't right. <laughs> you need to get right. Yeah. 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 Closing of life mm. is right up on us. Mm. Right up on us. Yes. Oh, it's been happening a long time. And I'm going to say this again. I'm going to say it. Mm. Black lives yes. matter. Oh, yeah. Talk, brother. White lives yes. matter. Yes. matter. Yes. Hispanic lives yeah. matter. Yes. Yes. All lives matter. Yes. Yes. If you believe that, talk to all folks. About Jesus yes, sir. Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Their lives That's will right. also matter. Yes. Come to Christ. My, my, my. Come to Christ. As we sing, whatever you want to sing, just sing it all. Come to Christ. Why don't you come? Why together we sing. Just hands. I am.